Saudi Arabia keeps pounding Yemen, worsening the grave humanitarian situation in the poor Arab nation. In the latest attacks, Saudi warplanes bombed the Hamdan district in the capital, Sana'a. No word on possible casualties yet. Earlier, Saudi jets targeted several districts in Amran, Lahij, and Jaff provinces. Meanwhile, the Yemeni army and their allied Ansarullah fighters have launched retaliatory attacks against the military posts in Saudi Arabia's Jizan province. They've also attacked Saudi-backed forces in Taiz. Riyadh has announced a five-day truce, which is to take effect from Sunday midnight. However, the kingdom has not complied with the terms of the previous ceasefires. Saudi Arabia's onslaught on Yemen has claimed nearly 4,900 lives since it started in March. I'm going to go back and talk to Ibrahim Moussaoui, political commentator, who joins us in Beirut regarding what has happened in Yemen. Ibrahim Moussaoui, 120 Yemenis have been killed, the worst uh, instance of uh, a massacre since this war started, which is over 100 days old. Uh, quite shocking, uh, the number of deaths. Uh, and this comes after Saudi Arabia says it's going to uh, have a ceasefire in place starting Sunday midnight. Uh, what can be done here to stop the Saudi war on Yemen, which is killing more lives, this being the worst incident since the start of the war. Well, words of condemnation and words in general are not enough at any case. This is a very vivid example about the hypocrisy, about the double standards, about uh, the lying of the so-called international community. Saudi Arabia is a very close friend to America that continues to preach democracy all over, that continues to talk that it has a moral mission all over the world to fulfill and to ensure that peace is going to prevail. Where is the United States of America that always claims it wants to have a moral mission? Where is the United Nations? Where is the Security Council? Where are the regional powers? I'm afraid that we are talking here about a dead conscience all over the world. The only countries or the only forces are the forces of resistance, those who have always been standing against the world arrogance, those who have always been standing near the oppressed. Here we are talking about a massacre. It is the, the history of Yemen. In three months, it's all littered with massacres. Every day we have a new massacre. What they are waiting for? It's not words of condemnation that is going to help. It's not... Go, it's not uh, words of uh, warning that is going to help. A real tangible, a real concrete action should be taken here to stop the criminality of, uh, of the Saudi leaders from continuing to massacre the poor Yemenis. Here you, we can simply talk about the death of the conscience, the death of the awareness, the death of the morality of the, of the world. Hadn't it been for Iran, hadn't it been for other countries who would denounce the Saudi actions, they are all being bought with the with the Saudi uh, rials and with the Saudi money. Uh, the, the Europe as well should be condemned for keeping uh, silent about what's really happening, and they have a lot that they can do. The problem is that you're talking about the people, the poor people. The, anyone who is in this world who could see what's happening, he should raise his voice in order to condemn this, <clears throat> in order to tell the Saudis that you are massacres, you are murderers, and you should stop doing this against a poor people. Words are not enough. This is the only thing that I can say. Real actions should be taken here to stop this continuous massacre against the Yemeni people. Otherwise, I, I don't believe that we are going to wake up tomorrow that the massacres are going to stop. Actions should be done because it works more and louder than words. Thank you very much for that. Ibrahim Moussaoui, their political analyst from Beirut.